In this brief tutorial, we'll show you how to create your own stock media marketplace using WordPress. With step-by-step -step instructions, we'll guide you through creating an online platform where creators can showcase and sell digital assets such as images, videos, 3D models, textures, etc. In this tutorial, we'll use TaskHive, a robust digital marketplace WordPress theme, along with the free HiPress plugin, designed to power the marketplace aspects of your site. Let's start. Our starting point is the installation of a theme and recommended plugins. Go to the Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload Theme page in your WordPress dashboard, where you need to upload the theme's zip file, then install and activate it. After activating the theme, you need to install the recommended plugins, including HiPress, which will handle most of the website features, and WooCommerce, which will add the necessary e-commerce functionality to your site. With all the essential elements, we can move on. The next step is to create media categories so users can browse listings effortlessly. Let's add some key categories. To do this, head to the Listings, Categories section. Here, you can define category names, provide descriptions, select a parent category, and upload fitting category images. To finish the process, click on the Add Category button. Note that you can add as many categories as you need by following the same steps. After adding categories, the next important step is creating custom listing fields, which allow users to describe listings in more detail. HivePress has no hard-coded fields, so you are able to create as many different fields and search filters as you want. To add your first custom field, go to the Listings, Attributes section and click Add New. Let's create a Licensing Options field as an example. Begin by entering a name and enabling front-end editing in the Editing section. Also, make this field required and choose the checkboxes field type. In the Search section, you can adjust the field search settings and turn this field into a search filter so that people can filter and sort the results. Let's make it filterable and sortable and choose the checkboxes field type. The display settings define how the field appears on pages. In our case, let's go for block, primary, and page, primary, and use this format. You can discover all available tokens through the question mark symbol tooltip. To finish the process, press publish. After this, the edit options button will appear. Click on it to add the available licensing options. We created this field as an example, but you can add other various fields depending on the niche of your site. HivePress allows you to create vendor profile fields, too. This way, vendors will be able to tell more information about themselves during registration, whereas users will be able to review this info in vendor profiles. To add a vendor field, go to Vendors, Attributes, and click Add New. For instance, let's create the Portfolio field. The process is similar to listing fields, but here, we'll choose the Attachment field type to let creators upload their portfolios. In the display section, we'll use this display format. Now, you need to visit the High Press Settings page and go through all settings to ensure the smooth operation of your marketplace. For example, it's important to let users download the purchased media. To do this, enable the Attachments function in the Listings section. Besides that, you can allow sellers to set pricing tiers which lets them offer different packages at varying prices, or price extras, which lets them add extra charges for special services, just like on Fiverr. Also, by default, in HivePress, you must add at least one listing to become a vendor. However, you can change that by allowing direct vendor registration in the Vendors tab. In that case, users will be able to sign up as vendors right away. Additionally, if you plan to monetize your platform, you can set the commission rates and fees in the Vendors and Users tabs, meaning that you can charge vendors, users, or even both parties. This way, the commission will be included in every purchase made on your website. For example, let's add a 10% commission rate for vendors, and later, we will show you how it works. Don't forget to visit all the other tabs since proper setup is an integral part of website creation and there are many useful features like reCAPTCHA and beyond. Next, you need to create a home page for your stock media marketplace, which should effectively highlight the range of assets available. 
Go to Dashboard, Pages, click Add New, and write the page title, like Home. Then, you can start adding layout blocks by clicking the plus icon and choosing different blocks, such as listing search form or categories. Also, in the right column, you can customize each block. For instance, you can choose the number of listings displayed. After creating your preferred layout, click Publish. To set this newly created page as the home page, go to Dashboard, Settings, Reading, and choose it from the drop down menu, then save the changes. Let's take a look at the page now and see what we've got. As we can see, it can look better and further customized, so let's give this page a unique look and feel and start by adding an appealing header image. Click Edit Page, Featured Image, and upload your image. Then, it'll be visible on the home page. It's already looking good, but let's tweak a few more settings to make it even better. To do it, click Customize. In the Site Identity section, you can upload your website logo. You can also edit your site's title, tagline, copyright notice, and the tiny icon you see in your browser tabs. Don't forget to hit Publish. In the Colors section, you can choose the main and secondary colors that match your site style. The Menus section lets you customize your site's menus. You can add pages like Blog or About Us to your header or footer. Also, if you enable direct vendor registration, you will need to add a new menu item here with a link to the vendor registration form, we left a link to the tutorial in the video description. Widgets allow you to add extra custom widgets to the available site area, but they're optional. In Homepage Settings, you can select your homepage, but we've already set that up. Next, you can go through the list of available fonts and choose your favorite ones. Lastly, the additional CSS section lets you add custom code snippets to tweak your site style. We have a collection of PHP and CSS snippets for high press, for which you can find the link in the video description. And that's it for the customization. Finally, it's vital to check how your stock media marketplace works from a user's point of view. You, as an admin, can add listings via the back end in the listings, add new section, but we'll do it via the front end. Visit your website and click the submission button. By the way, we changed the button's title behind the scenes to make it more suitable. You can do it by following the steps from the High Press Knowledge Base doc, the link is in the description. Here, provide all the details required for the listing. Also, since this is a stock media marketplace, we definitely need to add a file attachment here, in our case, it's a photo. When finished, click the Submit Listing button. If moderation is enabled, each new listing goes through a review process. As an admin, you can approve or reject listings in the Dashboard, Listings section. Once approved, listings become visible on the site. Okay, now we'll check how the buying process works. Let's visit our site from the incognito mode and try to purchase an asset. After the payment is completed, users can visit their account and download the purchased file. And that wraps up our guide. As you can see, building a stock media marketplace with WordPress is easy, even without a background in coding. Armed with the right tools like HighPress and TaskHive, your marketplace has the potential to become a successful platform one day. Good luck!